Hello, welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. In a derrick, we must move very heavy loads up and down, and that's why there's a pulley block hanging in the tower. This pulley block doesn't just have to move the hundreds of tons of drill pipes up and down, it also has to carry the heavy top drive, the motor which provides the rotational energy for the drill string, and also the heavy traveling block with the hook at its lower end. It's very obvious that very heavy loads are handled, and thus the steel cable has a lot of work to do. I have brought here with me a piece of the steel cable. It is not something you may have imagined, because it is not really flexible. In fact, it is more like an iron rod. This iron rod does not really like to be bent around pulleys all the time when the traveling block is moved up and down, and when it is pulled in and out of the hoisting system. Therefore, you have to be careful that the cable does not break at some point. It goes without saying that parts of the steel cable must be replaced if any visible damage is seen, like this. But even without any signs of obvious damage, parts of the steel cable still have to be replaced from time to time as a precautionary measure. As a measure for when such a change needs to be done, we can use the work formula we see here. The work performed by the steel cable consists of the force that pulls on the cable multiplied by the distance it has covered. Since we do a lot of up and down movement of the traveling block, many kilometers can be covered quickly. That is why the work unit is measured in ton kilometers, which results from the tons pulling on the steel cable multiplied by the kilometers it has traveled in and out. So, how can we now replace the steel cable when it is required? Here in this picture is a simple representation of the pulley system in the derrick. You can see that the deadline end is firmly attached to the structure of the derrick, so it does not move at all. The other end of the cable is the fast line. It is the part of the rope that moves most during operation. The tension or the pull force is constant along the entire length of the steel cable, as you can see. The, the cable moves with different speed everywhere, having the fastest speed at the fast line end. This is why the steel cable wears most on the fast line end, and therefore, the fast line end of the steel cable will reach its lifetime earlier than the other parts of the rope, and therefore needs to be changed more. Engineers have found a cool way to replace the steel cable without too much effort. We see in this picture that the deadline end doesn't just end like that, it is fixed at the dead end anchor but then it continues until it reaches a reserve drum filled with fresh cable. So if we now need to exchange the steel cable in the pulley system, we proceed as follows. I have a simplified representation where you can see everything better. I've also prepared a lead to animation. To begin with, the first step is we have to lower the heavy traveling block to the platform so that no one will be injured or hurt. Then, you release the dead line at the dead end anchor, so the steel cable can move freely at the dead end. Then you begin to roll up the used steel cable on the drum of the hoisting system. At the same time, fresh steel cable is being fed from the reserve, reserve drum over the pulleys into the pulley system. When enough fresh steel cable has been delivered, the dead, dead end anchor is again fixed and the traveling block can be lifted back to its original position. Now we can continue drilling with a new steel rope in the pulley system. For more explanation on all the activities we do with the hoisting system, you can come to our lecture, Machines and Facilities for Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.